open to you. Here's the brake pads that we're gonna use. Replacement pads are available for this model. It's optional if you want to buy the OEM pads from the dealership. These brake pads comes with the brake shims and wear indicator. And of course, grease. I will be using lithium grease for this job. First, remove the tire and put it underneath the vehicle. Loosen the two slider bolts. You can whack it with a hammer to hasten the process. Pry the caliper to open it. Now, the caliper has a short brake hose, which is impossible to slide the caliper upwards. Therefore, remove the two bolts to remove the caliper. Grab a steel wire or anything that can be used to hang the caliper. Make sure that the caliper brake hose are not strained or stretched. Remove the two brake pads. You can use flathead screwdriver if it's hard to remove by hand. You can clearly see that the pads have uneven wear. This is due to a stock up sliding pin. Later, we will lubricate the sliding pins. I will remove the brake retainers and clean them. I'll put grease in these two areas. Now that the retainers are clean, I will remove the dust on the caliper bracket and put grease on the retainers. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two brake pads. I will put grease onto the areas where the pads touches the retainers. There are specific grease for this job. Ordinary grease tends to dry off quickly. So choose what's right and best that works for you. Install the new pads. Before compressing the brake caliper piston, check the brake master fluid level. It might overflow if you compress it. If there is excess fluid, use a syringe and put the fluid in a safe container. Use the old brake pad before the C-clamp to compress it evenly. Brake fluid normally decrease as you drive because the brake pads wears out. The brake piston will uncompress, pushing more fluid onto the caliper. The fluid level on the brake master reservoir will decrease. It is normal that we refill the reservoir as a safety measure. But if you did that, make sure to decrease it if you will do a brake job. If the brake fluid decreases excessively, that indicates a leak somewhere from the system. So always check your brake fluid level from time to time. I place the C-clamp on the banjo bolt since the flat surface of the caliper is small and unstable. Before I keep the old pads, I will reuse the silver brake shim. This is located beside the piston. Remember to reinstall the cap to seal the system. This step is optional, but you can do it if you want to. Next is to regrease the caliper slide pins. The right grease for this job are silicon paste or synthetic grease. 
do not ever use ordinary grease since it could seize up. The only grease I have is lithium grease. I don't recommend this to brake slider pins, but it works. If you are out to buy grease, I recommend you to buy the proper grease for this job. It could be expensive, but worth the quality. The lower sliding pin has a rubber sleeve at the ends. Twist the slider pin while installing to get the right position. Reinstall the caliper and bolts. All bolts are greased up to prevent rust buildup. Tighten it snug. Now that we are finished, I will do the other side. Same procedures will be applied. Brake job is finished. Time to test it and call it a day. I hope you enjoy and find this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up, hit the bell, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching my video and God bless.